entire Philly scene is uh, allowing these with uh, guest XXXX. Yeah, for those of you who don't keep up with us too often, there's two t two tournaments in the area. Three, actually. Oh, three? A third one? Yep. Uh, G Team? G Team and Smash and Clash are okay. the other two. All right. So, all right, NTBD. NTBD uh, being probably one of these best Lucas, these best Lucas I've seen. He's really good. He actually won Smash and Clash on Wednesday, uh, taking out JB Andrew. So, that was pretty impressive. Uh, JB Andrew, right? Yep. Yeah. Puffster oh, obviously was, in a slouch. That was actually a very good DI right there, because um, yeah, he knew from the he knew the footstool combos right there. He didn't want to get caught by that, so he actually went to the other side of the stage. Or and off the stage. NTBD is just I'd say he's like an up and comer in our scene right now. Mm -hmm. He's not the most consistent player. He no. has but he has a lot of wins on very on very talented players. But then on the same end, he has a lot of losses to just other members of our PR or even players who aren't ranked. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's a player who I would just call the essence of inconsistency. And you, yeah, you, you, you elaborated a little bit that he's not very consistent. I would attribute to that to his actual play style. I because agree. Oh, and that is that going to kill him? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> but but I agree. Excuse my French. His, um, but. He goes for all those crazy just NTB things. Yes. He has his, his entire play style. He. It's the wild ride. He strives on the footstool combos. Yes, and, the he wi does. and the long wild rides. He goes for the long game right he, there. Yeah, and versus J Band, he was on fire and he was hitting him just one after the next. Mm -hmm. But now we see Puffster kind of taking more control. Uh, Puffster oh. gets the up B. I don't know what they want us to do with that knock. Keep commentating. Ah, uh, yeah. So. So Puffster, Puffster is going to show him, like, alright, Lucas is footstool master general, but there's, like, no slouching when it comes to Brawler. The Puffster. Oh, we have, uh... Alright. So we have, like, there's no slouching when it comes to Puffster on Brawler, uh, and doing footstool combos. Like, Brawler has, like, down... You, you might see him go for it. He's got, like, down throw, yep. footstool, he'll fall on you with an air, and then he can reset you and do whatever he wants. And from what I've seen about the, uh, from these two players today, they are... This is actually especially interesting, because they are both... Very, very footstool heavy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Puffster, Puffster was the person who uh, discovered, I would say, if not all of, then the majority of uh, me brawling footstool technology. <laughs> the Puffster is literally, is like, he invented the character. He's piggybacking the entire character's meta game. He used to. That was absolutely how it started. And is that going to be it at a shield? No, great DI there from NCBD. I would argue that he is still doing that because just think about how many places actually still allow. Not that quite. <laughs> Maybe in the air. The character. <laughs> Oh. oh, and he just turned around wow. and hits him with the neutral beat. He tried to roll behind he him got rude. and get him with that down smash, but the Puffster retaliating right back Let's says, go. no, not in my house. Puffster is Puffster's back. Puffster hits him the Shuriken. The, char the charge will Shuriken from the end. <laughs> it's got armor too, so it's like functionally pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're back. So, all right, I just want to point out that entire match, NTBD uh, lived two her helicopter kicks at 90 some percent on Smashville. So, learn to DI. <laughs> That's all I have to say. All right, so I think what, we, what uh, NTBD needs to do is he needs to give Puffster a harder time to get in. But Puffster's in, so. Very good. That was very good right there. I agree. hit it with the first hit of forward air. Yeah, Puffster, he found a chain grab with that early on. He's been doing it. It's pretty cool. Gets him with the grab. Are we gonna see footstools? We are, but we can't get the fast fall off. <laughs> right there, NTV doing his, uh, trying to do his thing right there. And, and the Foster the coming right oh, back with another footstool. Smash. I'm telling you, you're gonna see just all of that. These players both like just know their their footstools so well. And he armors through the down tilt. This what? Is this is probably one of those interesting matches I've are seen today. Are you kidding today. me? That was amazing. <laughs> Who would have thought to do that? Two masters of their craft. Go, just going at it right here. Absolutely, two complete specialists of their character. Not even the character, their playstyle. The footstools that we were seeing and the, and the long extended combos that we were seeing from these players. And he goes there, we're gonna get the air. And he sends him right off stage with it. That's actually the better option, I'm glad NTBD took it. There NTB he goes again. That's so smart. The way he's DIing towards the ledge, so he bounces off. That's so smart. And I, I am not surprised at all by how smart these characters are playing against each other. These players, especially, knowing exactly. Is that it? Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was super close. That was questionable DI. These characters, especially. Knowing how to avoid oh my their God. own footstool, <laughs> the Puster takes oh my it. God. <laughs> that With was, the kicks. That was just the balls to the wall. That was a close set. Oh my God. That was 2 0, but it was still close because we saw so many interesting things in that match. Yeah, I watch a lot of me, brother. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that kill. All right, I'm be heading out now. Oh, yeah, right. I feel. I feel